All right, welcome back. So we're doing the syntax error faster method. I've already, I have already made a video on how to do this solo stealth overkill all loot. Uh, however, I have some more information to make it a little bit faster uh, and to understand the heist a little bit better. So we'll bump the city for rush, open this door, crouch and get into the vent. We're not going to worry about the metal detector or the QR code or even the guards uh, key card. So right here, crouch at the bottom of the steps and then you can just muscle through. There's one location for the metal detector. If you do want to turn it off, we're not going to. Uh, if you want to get the blue key card, you just got to do exactly that. There's a QR code location there and there and a metal detector location right there as well. Still have rush, so we can lockpick the office. You can close this if you want to, if the guard is over there. Might as well, whatever. Hack the computer while that's happening. We're gonna lockpick this safe. Once we're done with this, I'll show you what those books do on the left side. I said I didn't know last time, but I figured it out. There, <clears throat> it's if you go loud and you finish shutting down sins, the last step would be to unlock these. You have a co-op partner with you. Uh, it's necessary. One presses that button. The other one presses the button behind sins. And what that will do will unlock the glass uh, encasing and allow you to secure sins as securable loot. And I'll go ahead and mask up here just since I'm crouching, just for the timing. Shave a few seconds off. All right, so we're looking at 0497. And then you can sprint here. It doesn't matter if that guy sees you. You're not going to be up there again. And then what I like to do is hack the third, fourth, and fifth secure, uh, cameras right there. And we're actually going to menace this guy instead of killing him. All right, once we have that, we're gonna put the ECM there to take out that camera and tie him up, answer the radio, and then we're gonna take him into, we're actually, what you can do is you can take him into the elevator. I wouldn't recommend putting him there, but if you are quick enough and don't really care too much about the safety of like searching, uh, you could just put him in that middle room, that's fine. There's no regular guard paths in there. But if they're searching, you never know where they might go. Uh, that's a safe corner in the right side of the elevator. So I like to put them there if I don't want to worry about anything. One key card location. Gonna menace this guy. Just so I don't have to worry about anything, I'm going to put him back there. And we're at about four minutes and we're pretty properly set up to start taking the servers now. I'll go find that red key card and then I'll show you what its use is aside from the control room. Uh, obviously you can use it to get into that room. But last time I said I didn't know what the computer did. I think I said it was like useless, but it's definitely one of the most crucial things of this heist makes it cuts the time down significantly. So I'll show you how to use it. We'll take that red key card. Make sure you don't run or throw any knives or cause any suspicion to arise around that area. And that will stay a safe spot for loot and that civvy. We'll go up here, hack this computer. What this will do is show you the drone locations. So you just look at the subject dialog of each email and you look for the word drone. It's going to be the first word and then you just tie it to the room that it says in the email. Those are the servers you're gonna put into the server rack. The other ones you don't need to, so unknown. And then you have drone room A, drone room C, and drone E. So ACE are the rooms we're gonna hit first. And 
And I'll start by going into C. I'm just going to take it nice and slow. Kind of medium, actually. So that, okay. I'll show you how to get into C. So not, fur not furthest into the left, but kind of in the middle. You wedge yourself and look at the bottom right corner right there. Go forward and then press jump a couple times. And you can just easily get into C. You don't need to go through that top area. You don't need to go into the control room. And you have access. My volume just cut out, and I'm not even playing with volume. That's uh, that's all right, honestly. Just let my earbuds charge. If anything, it should help me focus. So it was A, C, and E. Uh, yeah, might as well. Just since I'm over here, go to D. So since we know where the drone servers are, we know where they also aren't. So we don't need to, it's, it's only gonna be redundant and a waste of time to search these servers. There's no difference in the value of loot if you search it or not. So we know these are redundant. So this bonus server is the same value as this server that hasn't been searched. If they're the same value, then you don't need to worry about searching it. It's just going to be a waste of time for you. Instead of sending it up that zip line, we're going to put it in that corner as well. If you send it up the zip line and then they end up searching, there will be a guy that will path through that room. So just for the uh, sake of safety, we're just not going to do that. Uh, to get into the A room, you either need the QR code, which we didn't bother to get, or you can unlock it here. I wouldn't recommend unlocking it, or if you do choose to unlock it, just do it first. Because what it will do is undo all your progress of unlocking the prior server rooms. So, see how I unlocked A? These ones I now have to re-unlock, and that will happen for everywhere. So I recommend just doing the manual method, going through the vents, uh, finding your own ways, but for A, it's kind of tricky. It's one of the only ways to get in there, um, aside from through the control room. I actually don't know why I didn't just... Oh, that's not the control room. That's the center room, which also requires a QR code. So if you don't have the QR code, you do need to use the control. Uh, a, C, and E were the ones that we're looking for, so we're going to go ahead and drop these in the server rack. And get those searching. While we're doing that, we're going to head over to E, which has event access to it. Nice and easy. Perfect. Another server verified. One more, and we'll have it all. All right, we'll turn these off for the lasers on the doors, and then we'll just unlock them just in case we need it later. servers once those are done we'll be able to grab the drone server the primary drone server and then leave we're sitting at about five minutes here we can actually sprint with both servers which is nice and then since we menace those guys we don't have to worry about guard pathing into the hallway so we got a and then finally b once those ones also clear 
Uh, I'm just going to make sure I get that bonus server off of it first so that I can start that 30 seconds. Okay, it looks like we already got it. Got the drone server here, and there's going to be one more bonus, which I'm going to wait for so I don't have to come back here. And then we'll finish it up by sending these ones and then finishing with the beat. Sitting at 10 minutes, 32 seconds. All right, there's that civvy. You can just leave him alone, doesn't really matter. Flawless. I don't even think I was using the zip line on my last run. I think I was literally walking it all the way up, going through the vents, going through here. <laughs> like, that's so silly. Okay, so there are guys right there. When we get a chance, we'll loop that camera just so we can actually walk out there. But aside from that, we can actually just toss those. This is the one situation where it's really nice to have that additional throw speed or throw uh, distance. It's really tough to hack that guy though. All right, once I get that hacked, we should be good. We're just gonna sprint out with no regard. And we'll be fine. We're at 12 and a half minutes. Might be the fastest method on YouTube, Loki. All right, all loot. Didn't even alert anybody. And we're under 12 minutes and 45 seconds. That is the syntax error solo faster method all loot. It's actually pretty good. Here's the stats. For the points, you get 180, which is pretty good for solo. Not bad for 12 minutes, 42 seconds. If they end up patching other methods to get XP, this probably won't be far off from one of the better ones. Um, yeah, so that's how you do it the faster way. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.